Well, the partnership between Credit Suisse and the Sydney Symphony started in 2010, and when we were looking for a partner in the music arena here in Australia at that time, it became obvious to us that it was just a very natural partnership. We shared many values with the Sydney Symphony, and indeed, in the same way that Credit Suisse, particularly in Australia, but, but also globally, is a dynamic organisation seeking to grow, seeking to improve, we saw that very much in the Sydney Symphony as well. These are young musicians that have spent um, many, many years honing their skills on their instruments. And so most of them have been playing their instruments you know, since the age of four or five in many cases. Um, but what they haven't done is that vital ensemble work, really learning to work as a team. So they work with the Sydney Symphony and our main stage concerts where they're mentored by more experienced players. And then they do a big chamber music program. The fellowship program, it's got a great reputation as that sort of next stepping stone into our into our career. Well being part of fellowship means you get to collaborate really, it's, it's like a real nursery if you like. We, we learn the art of performing, making chamber music and, and Roger is uh, pretty unparalleled at being a mentor figure for us. We want them to be you know highly adaptable, polished musicians that can do anything. We tend to have a very narrow training. We just want to learn our instrument as well as we can. It's a very isolated training. Mostly, you know, it's done one-to-one -one with a teacher and a student. And we don't actually learn how to perform, really. It's funny, you know, we are performers, but we don't learn how to perform and communicate. We just kind of take it for granted. And so this program works on all those skills. It's always challenging and it's always very exciting program you really have to try and get into if you can because um, it, it means a lot for your prospects. When I was growing up the sort of the idea of going from being just a student to being a professional musician it, there, there wasn't really anything that I could see that would make that transition possible. To be able to do what you love every day is it's pretty special. This program prides itself on choosing the best players of our generation you know people that are just about to hopefully get a job and that are passionate and, and musical and work hard and work well with others. It's great to play with the SSO and with these the other fellows and all of that, that opportunity but the stuff which isn't um, you know that kind of puts you out of your comfort zone when you're not in a group of people just playing the notes you know just trying to make a genuine connection with that person and giving them something of value which they can take away and that, that'll make me more flexible as a performer and someone who can engage with an audience. Well, I hope to just gain a really sort of strong understanding of how to be a professional, a young professional in this industry. And the program really works. It's a very sort of diverse, holistic sort of approach. So we, like we can obviously play our instruments to a certain degree, but it really works on fine tuning all aspects of our performance and community engagement and education and all kinds of things. This fellowship program is very important um, because it gives younger, like the next generation of Australian musicians some hope that, that classical music is an important field in, in the cultural life of Australia. People love to come to our concerts because they see these young musicians are at such an amazing stage of their development um, and they can see they've got a whole future ahead of them. And it's why people seem very keen to, to support the program financially as well, because they see it as an investment in the future. I'm fortunate that I've had a, had a great deal to do with the orchestra over the last 18 months since our involvement commenced. And I can just see that the, the confidence that, that the orchestra is able to derive from the security of sponsorship allows it to concentrate on the thing that it does best, which is, which is delivering fantastic performances of a great repertoire week in and week out. This fellowship program puts us in a really good position to be able to sort of work, whether that's freelance or full time, in many different orchestras, chamber orchestras, symphony making people see that it's a valuable form of music because I don't think it really gets enough exposure and not enough people listen to it. It's, diff it's a difficult, very difficult thing to crack because they've got to compete with you know, the millions of dollars that go into other forms of music and television. It seems like there are a few ATFs going on at the moment, like with the Bridge and the ABC and the SSO, so that's been very exciting. And these milestones are important because they challenge organisations to look to the future. Uh, and what I think is most satisfying about this birthday is, yes, it's a celebration, yes, it coincides with 80 years of the Sydney Harbour Bridge and all those things, but it's really what's the orchestra going to do for the next 80 years. Uh, and the dy dynamism which exists in the, you know, amongst the, the orchestra and amongst the management team of the company is such that very much this is a celebration of the past and the present, but very much also looking to the future and where will the orchestra be by the end of this century.